What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here today with another episode of Building LEGO Hogwarts and in today's episode I will be showing you the new 2022 Shrieking Shack set in the Hogsmeade Village as well as some other changes that have been happening throughout the Hogwarts grounds. Alright, so first off we have arrived at Hogsmeade Village here and as you can see in the back we have a bit of an empty spot there. So this is where the 2004 Shrieking Shack used to be at. Uh, as you can see I've removed this big leg piece. Uh, I've used the big leg uh, little box out there, so the lid is removed. I've placed that on the newer version, which we have right here. So here's a little comparison of both of them. So you can see the one on the left made it possible to angle it on a on each side, so you can angle it to the left or to the right side. Now this one is angled, uh, aiming to the right side, so when I've put it out there at first, uh, the top floor wasn't really visible, so I had to find a bit of a solution for that. So I've used uh, two turntable pieces here to put it at an angle so it's kind of more facing to that side so we can still uh, kind of have a good look at this one so let me demonstrate what that looks like all right so let me just put that one in position here like that all right so this is what it looks like with the new updated 2022 shrieking shack in place here and i think it fits a lot better with all of these buildings here i really like the style it really resembles each other so it looks a lot better than uh, this 2004 set even though this set still kind of holds up for a 2004 set I think it still looks very nice uh, but as you can see all of that snow on the roof and stuff it just looks a lot better and much more fitting with the rest of them um, so yeah I think it's definitely an upgrade now it did really need that angle though I think if it was placed uh, straight on the uh, on the grid there on the brick grid then it wouldn't look as well because then this entire section would be facing a bit more to the right side so i think now it just looks perfect so yeah i'm curious to see what you guys think of it did you like the old one better or do you like this one better i think the building techniques are updated and they just look a lot better now now i've also used that little uh, fence piece there uh, that came with the new uh, 2022 set and i've replaced it with my old gate that i had there and i think the new one of course looks a lot better i was already thinking of uh, switching that up but now the, the new set gave us a nice little fence so i've also placed it down there and then we also have another 2022 set here um, so we have one of these testrels and the baby testrel out there as well so very nice so i want to place these in the forest somewhere now at the moment it's still a temporary place but i think i want to put it out here somewhere because we're gonna have a little pathway going out there into the distance uh, imagining that it will go lead up to the castle here but so yeah i really want to include that scene somewhere probably maybe a little bit closer to this little uh, station where they uh, exit from but yeah first off i will have to complete this rock work here to really get the layout and the scenes of the forest right uh, so we'll have to wait a bit for that now moving a little bit closer to the castle we still have this exposed ugly brick wall here which is because i was missing quite a lot of rock pieces and i didn't want to work on it using only uh, you know a couple of uh, rock pieces so i had to order lots more of them and they finally arrived today so hopefully uh, after this video i'll be able to work on that a little bit more now moving on to the castle itself out here uh, underneath the little viaduct entrance here i finally made a kind of uh, half decent foundation for this uh, castle out here um, so yeah i'm very excited to put in some scenes in there it's still going to be pretty difficult uh, to access them so i'm not really sure i'm going to do that i want to use some hinged doors as i really love uh, to use them a lot but i'm not sure how it will work out with all the rest of this uh, landscaping and stuff uh, but yeah anyways moving on i also kind of finished a little room out here as well unfortunately it's not umbridge's office but so now i'm able to slide this open very easily uh, but so we just have a little bit of a staircase going up out here um, exiting the charms classroom there and i think it looks pretty awesome i wasn't really sure what to put in there so i just went for this uh, little wooden staircase i was kind of um, inspired by the new hogwarts legacy game which had a, a wooden staircase behind uh, flitwick in the in his classroom but i just decided to put it out there and uh, it leads to that door which will hopefully eventually lead to so this door out here hopefully it will lead to that door out there even though we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to make some special angles for that um, but so yeah let's hope that we can get that figured out there's also a bit of a change in elevation there as well and then for the rest in the viaduct entrance i've also added in madame pins here as well as filch with his new cat which is a very awesome piece i really love all the new uh, animal parts that we're getting also the series uh, the series in dog shape looks very very awesome and then out here we have this building with the archway there on the right side of the grand staircase tower and i've been able to work on it a little bit so i've added kind of these things out here which looks pretty pretty good in my opinion i've also added in a roof which is pretty slant it's pretty steep um, so i'm not sure if it's that accurate to the castle itself but i do kind of like it and i wanted to show you how i can access the inside here which is just by lifting up this roof like that i'm breaking that off <laughs> so yeah i thought that was pretty cool and uh, out here we have the door uh, which gets uh, Alohomorad in the movies 
and on the right side of course we have some hinged uh, parts here that open up and then we got fluffy out there fluffy is the encounter and then on the bottom is where I want to have the uh, the devil snare uh, leading up to the challenges below there so it's still a lot of work to figure all of that out uh, but I do like what it looks like at the moment I still have to add the roofs here but uh, I got a big order in today which you uh, normally should have some of those parts as well and then we also have our grand staircase tower which is still under construction but I've ordered lots of these uh, these little snot pieces, pieces here as well as some cheese slopes uh, so I should be able to close this part up already I hope to do that tonight as well we'll see how far I will get with that and then on this side here I've also made this foundation for the new building which will come out here I've also made a foundation for the tower as well as that other building uh, because at first I just had them lying on some uh, on some uh, some brick pillars and stuff which wasn't really handy it kind of broke off a lot so now we finally have that and out here I've kind of started on a, a new little classroom that we're gonna get which is the Snape's potion room with a, a very humble start here humble beginnings to that uh, so yeah uh, out here you can see it in the basement level I've kind of added in some of those uh, iconic parts from that uh, classroom set there but yeah guys so far the updates that have been made to my lego hogwarts castle here now i do hope with this new order which i will also be making a little video about uh, that i will be moving forward a lot with the build here especially that great tower i really hope to get that uh, roof in unfortunately this seller didn't have enough of the roof pieces that i will need so not sure how far we're gonna get with that but i do hope that we can complete that right side with the rocks there but yeah guys anyway thanks a lot for watching be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell as well and i will see you in the next video